Christian Apple. Oh my gosh, what is his name? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a really fun review. Today's review is on a product that is used on the one and only JLo, and that is the Color Wow Dream Coat. If you guys follow Chris Appleton, he is a huge person, a proponent of this pro proponent? Proponent? Am I using the right word? Is that the word? I don't know. He's a big fan of this product, and he's always posting photos on Color Wow about the glass hair. As I mentioned in my last video, the glass skin. This is the glass hair product. Now, do I have glass hair? Do I? You guys leave comments down below. I don't know. I don't know if my hair is nice enough to be glass hair. But what this product is supposed to do is act as a sealant for your hair and kind of prevent humidity from affecting it. I mean, honestly, everyone's dream, right? Dream in a bottle. Now, I applied it to the right side of my hair. This is with the dream coat. And then this side is without the dream coat. Actually, I think I can see a shiniest difference. Can you see that side? And then that. You guys let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure when I'm editing this, I will be able to see if there's absolutely any difference. So I wanted to test out this product because summer is coming up in humidity. The humidity and I aren't friends. It gives me a triangle head. Comment below if you guys know what that means. But I'm actually, I'm just going to explain it to you. It's like when the top of your hair just sticks to your head. And then the bottom puffs out. It's like honestly so ugly. Unless I'm at the beach. When I'm at the beach, I get these like beautiful curls. And if I'm absolutely anywhere else, it's a triangle head and then like frizzy. Oh, it's, it's just not pretty. Like I don't have that pretty natural hair and that's okay. That's why I don't wear my hair natural often. So earlier I was applying this product to my hair. I'm going to leave a video down here per usual as I do. And what you do is you apply it to towel dried hair. You take small sections and you just like put a good amount on each section and then you're going to brush through it and then you know apply it to the rest of your hair. Next you have to blow dry your hair. Now you have to blow dry your hair because this is heat activated. So blow dry your hair and then after that oh I used my dry bar um it's like a Oh, I can't I speak. I'm just making a weird movement. It's a round brush hair dryer. It's my favorite thing ever, but you can just use a regular hair dryer and that will work as well. And then I straightened it after just because the next step that we're going to be doing, we're going to be testing it out. The reason I straightened my hair for this whole demo is that I'm going to turn on my shower in my bathroom, let that get all humid. And then we're going to go in there, see if anything happens to my hair. But if I don't straighten it beforehand, you know, my hair's a little frizzy to begin with and like not every piece is straight. So this is just going to like, it's like a clean slate. That's how we're going to test it out. And then I'm going to come back out here and let you guys know if anything changes. One more thing I want to mention is that this is supposed to last three to four shampoos. So you don't have to apply this every single time you get out of the shower. They wanted to create a product that you can put on your hair, prevents humidity, but also doesn't weigh it down. Now the Color Wow Dream Coat retails I bought the 6.7 fluid ounces. This bottle retails for $28 and the 16.9 fluid ounces retails for $58. I've actually used this quite a few times. I was trying to see how much it sounds like it's in there. Quite a bit. It's pretty heavy still. I probably use this six times, give or take. I have actually worn this out in the rain and you know what? I'm going to wait till after the demo to like let you guys know my thoughts and opinions, okay? But... Yeah, I wanted to like really get a full test out of this. I even worked out with it. So you guys are going to have a full review. This is not just a first impression. So let's just jump right on into the demo and let's see what happens. Hey guys, so we're currently in my bathroom. As you can see, there's a foggy mirror right there. My shower's on. I'm trying to see if the humidity in here causes the side of my hair that I didn't put the product in. So this side right here, if it causes it to curl. I naturally have kind of frizzy hair. Mm. Trust me, we will be able to tell if it is working. So I'm gonna stay in here for another like two minutes and see if anything happens and then we're gonna give my final review. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I just spent about 10 minutes in the bathroom with the shower on and it was super humid. It honestly felt like a sauna in there. And I am noticing a little bit of a difference between the two sides of my head. It's not insanely different, but I just kind of want to let you guys see what happens in the humidity with my hair. So this is the side with the color wow. As you can see, it's just a little sleeker. It really did kind of hold itself together a little better. This side, I hope it's coming across camera, is just a little puffier. And 
this is gonna sound odd, but if you have hair that reacts to humidity, you'll probably understand this. This side feels like like normal, my normal everyday hair when there is no humidity in the air. When there is humidity in the air, my hair feels like, like this feels very fluffy. I know it doesn't look so different on camera, but the texture of my hair feels completely different. And when it turns fluffy, there is just like no saving it. Even if I straighten it, like it just has that weird texture to it. I have to wash it and just like kind of start all over again. This feels like, okay, this piece may have curled just a little bit. I also probably didn't put a lot of the color wow in the front of my head. Curled just the slightest bit at the end. That also can just be from me putting it behind my ear. And I may have needed to use a little bit more on the front sections of my hair since they are the first to curl in humidity. So my final thoughts on the Color Wow Dream Coat are if you have wavy hair to like curly hair, not super curly, because I don't really, I don't have super curly hair, so I don't want to speak on their behalf. But if you have like wavy curly hair, I think that this will really help your hair in humidity and help it like, like my hair grows out. I feel like straight hair people, like when you're in humidity, it like grows in. Hopefully that's like a visual, I, you know what I mean? Like it's flat against your head. Not sure how this would work for you. Maybe search for a review with someone with straight hair. Maybe I'll make my sister test this out because she just has straight hair. And I'm pretty sure it just gets like, I don't know, does it get greasy? What does your hair do when you have straight hair and humidity? Does it get greasy? Does it just get flat? I don't really know. But for my wavy hair girls out there, I think you will love this product, especially if you want to keep your hair straight during like a rate when it's raining outside. This product will help you out so much. And now I have used this product in the past, but I used it all over my hair. So I wasn't really able to like see the complete difference between the two sides. I did notice though the texture was different when I used this. And now I'm glad I can like confirm that the texture of my hair has changed when I use it versus when I don't. I really like it. I think it's gonna be a staple for me in the summer. Let me know if you guys have tested out this product or if you're gonna test it out in the future. If you have problems with humidity and you wanna try to combat it, I think that this is a product that actually works. I mean, I know there's so many out on the market that say they work and then they don't. I really like the technology behind this. And I like that it lasts a few washes. So you don't have to apply it all the time. So it makes the product last a little bit longer. So I hope you guys all had a great day today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at Casey Elizabeth underscore YT. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.